Oh. Oh. Is it live though? Does it look like it? Don't f oh, oh, it is. It's live. Oh, I'm live. Yes, I am. I haven't been live in a long time. Not for a long time. Uh, why is it not working on that bit? I don't get that. Block that. Do that, do that. Right. Let me refresh that. Mate, mad at her. How we're doing? First one in. Might have forgotten what to do. Seriously. Right, so I'm doing that. Don't worry about that. Let me just click. Why won't you let me click on that? I don't want to do this later. Okay. Oh, there we go. Live. All the pitch come up. Excellent connection, apparently. So look, it looks all good. Wow. This feels so weird. What? Why am I wearing them? Fucking hell. I'm so used to wearing them. Unbelievable. Seriously is. No one's even talking to me. Fucking knobhead. Computer says no. Yeah, computer says yeah, it's all right now. Oi, oi, bunny. What's going on? If you guys can do me the biggest, biggest, biggest favour, you know. Put it out there somewhere. Just, you know, in the, in the usual like places. I like, this is a very last minute thing. Very last minute. I've got to say, buffering a second ago, a second ago, oh, oh, fucking hell, buffering a second ago, uh, how you fell up, nice one, this motherfucker here, how we doing, Matt, does anyone know this movie, <laughs> because he ain't got a clue what he's doing, yeah, nice one, Matt, cheers, mate, Lynn, good evening to you, yes, first time in a long time, that I've gone live like just randomly gone live for fuck it look at my hair you don't normally see me this big on sales look i need a bloody haircut it's like a mullet thing going on here you can go in a ponytail but yes so if you guys can do me a favor put it out anywhere that you can at the moment just to get a few people in there i would really appreciate it um i just like i said i just thought i'd come back and do a random live <laughs> really random not very professional drinking i know but i'm a bit dry a bit nervous going live on my own like normally i've got um the savs boys you know to fall back on and bounce off and keep things going but no nope, it's just me on my solo so, yep, yeah, as you've probably already seen, it's a live unboxing. Uh, and it is going to be for the Aegis Boost Pro. I've got a green screen on, that's why that bit's missing. That's obviously green there. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Whoa, I feel all butterfly-y, like, in my stomach and stuff. Let's get some nicotine now, mate. Nick Salts, oh yeah. Mm, technically, it's not Nick Salts. Well, it is and it ain't. So, what I'm vaping at the minute is Moorish Puff by, um, yeah, uh, Mango Chill by Moorish Puff, should I say. And what I do, I top that up with, uh, yes, but it's another boost. It's a boost pro. And, mm, yeah, it is a mango, but yeah. I would have Steam James. Nice one, dude. So, yeah, uh, what I do with this is I top this up with Nick Salt shots. So I put three Nick Salt shots in that. It makes it about, I would say, five milligram-ish. So I'm not right up there. Nice one, brother. I appreciate it. Cheers, Matt. Legend. Uh, in fact, how do you know what I need to do? Uh, 
I need to do this. Give me one second. Well, I'm not picking favourites. I'm not. Uh, lean your eyes playing up in it. So, there we go. I've got two mods in chat. You don't have to take the role. You can go if you want to. It's up to you. But I've just made two of you mods. Uh, Matt and Bunny. Uh, Lynn, I know that your eyes playing up a little bit. So, I didn't want to force that upon you. But I don't think I've got any moderators in the fucking chat, to be fair. But anyway, yeah. Um, just thought, you know. Jump on. Do a random. Been a hell of a long time. Hell of a long time. Do you know what I should do, really? I should actually put this out into... Bear with me, people. Um, I'm going to put this out into my Facebook group. L-V-C group. Because, obviously, my guys over there need to know that I've gone live. Where I haven't been live in such a long time. I'm going to put it on the page. Yeah, let's put it on the page. Okay, so create a post. Random live. The first man in. Forever. That's a song in it from Frozen. For the first time in forever. Shut up, Jay. Dickhead. But yes. Okay, let's see. No, why is that? No, I don't want that fucking link. Stupid. See, this is what I mean. I'm so shit at this. Let me get that. Let me get that. Copy that link. Then I can't see the chat at the moment. Don't want to do. Uh, so if I copy all of that now. Copy. I can't see the chat. So let me just post this out a little bit. And then I'll crack on. Not going to be too long. Um, offended. Oh, mad at Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so let me get rid of that. Let me go back into. Let me put it in sabs. Savs need to know about this, don't they? They'll all be fucking shitting themselves. Oh my god! Or pissing themselves, laughing, whatever. Hello, hello, Jenny. How are we doing? Oh, that way. So potential, potential work in progress logo there by Jennison's Designs. Don't know who she is, or if you haven't been over there, go check her out. Okay, so that's that one done. Where else can I put it? I need to search my group. That's what I need to do. I should have got all this ready, really. But, you know, hey-ho. I am, like, quite shit sometimes. So, let's paste that there. Oh, why won't it let me paste? There we go. Paste. Bang. There. There. Does it have an RDTA pod? It does, but I haven't got one. I haven't. Have G, how are we doing, man? Um, so, one more post, and then I will be all yours. All right. Okay. There we go. That's it. Last one. That should do us. Hopefully get a few people in here. If not, oh well. It's no biggie. Uh, where am I looking? Yes, I am there. Right. So, as you know, I haven't been... Well, I have been around, but only on Savs and doing my gaming stuff. And I... Bought. Oh, thank you. Which I appreciate it. Really do. Um. Yeah, I haven't been around for a long time. Like, on my own stuff. Doing my own stuff. I've been on Savs Sunday. Doing my gaming and whatnot. Um. Been vaping, obviously. You're not, you're not 
you, you ugh, fucking hell. I'm so nervous right now. You lot know what a vape on. Mangoes. All different varieties of mangoes. You know, just to try and find a decent one. There are a few decent ones out there. And the boost. So, I... Uh, you lot must have seen all the posts everywhere. Cheap mods all the other day. Well, anyway. I went onto the same sort of place. And I got a cheap mod yesterday. I got this cheaper than what I could get at wholesale. So, I thought I'd get it. So, it's the Aegis Boost Pro. Uh, so, it came today. And I thought, do you know what? Why not just randomly just go and do a live. And... Just see how it goes. So <laughs> here I am. Like, don't expect anything, you know, spectacular. I've just rushed together. Look, as you can see, my green screen's a little bit, but I've just rushed it together um, just to get a bit of something out there. You know, I did say that I was going to come back, um, but when full time, I don't know. But, you know. All right, something nasty. How we doing here, man? Uh,. It's okay, don't be nervous. <laughs> we'll just say <laughs> watching your every move. I know, and I, do you know what? I actually do move a lot when I'm doing shit like this. Like, everything's focused on me. It's not like when we're on Savs and we're in little, like, we've got the chat there, so that takes up a bit of room. Then we've, there's four or five of us, you know, and then the boxes are really small. Here, you can see fucking everything. Do you know what I mean? You can see the curls on my hair, my, my mullet that's starting to grow. But yeah. Right. My search for a decent mango continues. I still have not found one I really like. So, Pav, have you tried the Just Juice mango? Oh, cheers, Bunny. I appreciate it. It's good to see you back. Let it roll. Yes, I keep saying that. It's just one of them things like I just don't know when but i am going to be coming back doing stuff it's just finding the time you know especially like you know doing everything like life out there is so active at the moment really well i don't need to but you know like this is this is everyday life right now isn't it you know walking down the street and all that and keeping it away too close to me mate jog on or when that person wants to shuffle behind you right up your backside like, you can feel them breathing on your neck in the in the queue, in the shop. And you're like, hang about, mate. You do know there is a pandemic. Like, keep your fucking distance. But, yeah. The Badger is back. Yes. MBK, what's going on? How we doing? But, yeah. You know, life's all funny at the moment. Life's all hectic and upside down and really busy for different people in different ways, you know. Uh, it's just one of them things. So, I thought I'd just come over and do it. So, what I'm going to do is, oh, there you go. Shy Talk uh, Mango is epic, Pav. Uh, you, you need to try that one, seriously. This is probably one of the best. I'm, I'm, I'm not sponsored by anyone or anything, yeah. But this is one that I've been on for the last nine or ten months. Seriously. I've got a few here. This one's good. A little bit too icy. Makes me cough a little bit because of the ice. Um, the chuffed one. That's all right. It's it's a different type of mango. This is quite sweet. So it can get a little bit, you know, sickly after a little while. But what I tend to do is just mix them up a little bit by adding a bit of this and a bit of that. You know, doing a bit of mad alchemy and all that shit. Um, the one that I'm actually trying at the minute is the mixologist um mango ice now so far i found it a little bit synthetic but it's not the worst one i've ever had i've got a full bottle of it so i will vape it whether i buy it again or not i don't know i'll see by the time i get to the end of the bottle but you know yeah uh shy touch juices are banging uh i haven't tried them uh, but i have heard such good things about them so yeah uh how sweet this one on a scale of one to ten we're probably talking a good seven eight on that 
Uh, this one is quite balanced. Like it has got a little bit of a, a coldness to it, but it's not overpowering. It's just the little balance of the, the flavor, the passion fruit. You know, I think that's what makes this different because it has got passion fruit in there. So it's not a straight mango, but mango and passion fruit go really well. And Just Juice have nailed that. That's really, really good. Really good. Yeah, all your mango base needs. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't even eat real mangoes. I don't like them. They're too pulpy and they rip the roof of your mouth to bits. I just, but yeah, like I said, with this one, it is a little bit on the synthetic side, but it's totally vapable. You know, I've had a lot worse that have been like, no, but anyway. So what I'm going to do now is, oh, there you go. Shytox link is in chat, Pav. If you want to go over there and check them out. Uh, it's it's yeah. I love mango, fresh mangoes. Oh. see, there are mangoes out there. Do you know, like there's creamy mangoes. Uh, I think anarchists do one. I don't like it because it's like a mango solero, which is you know the ice lolly thing with the ice cream in the middle. That I don't, I don't really like that. I really don't. But anyway, so I've opened the box. Oh, I better show you what's on the box, shall I? So this has got a load of different information on the back nowadays. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done one of these. Two barcodes for whatever reason. Um, telling you the colour. Oh, one's probably. Oh, one's the serial number. One's the batch number. Uh, you've got uh, your. I, I don't know how well. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, so you've got uh, under what TC adjustable airflow. Uh, the IP67 rating, that's the first top, top three lines. Then you've got advanced performance, zero condensation. Really? Now, that is interesting. We'll see about that one. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, shockproof tech, yeah, rubberized, obviously. Um, we've got the Geekvate P-series coils. Rechargeable... 8650 battery type c charging so it's fast charging not that i charge batteries in the device anyway it's not a thing that i do i, I always recommend to people take the batteries out put them in an external charger two things it charges the battery fully and it doesn't put extra strain and wear and tear on the internals of your mod that's just the thing that i've always done don't get me wrong i'm not saying i've not done it in the car when i've needed to because i do but i don't do it as a general rule all the time and i don't tend to pass through vape neither because that fucks everything it draws too much amperage through your plug and all that stuff so yeah um let's see who we've got in there let me just catch up on chat a little bit kyra views i was doing uh kyra i've done it <laughs> that's for calling me jane the other day kira how we doing nice of you to join us man good show you done last night i really enjoyed it you kept me up till late and i've only had two and a half hours sleep because of that Cal Zions, I would doing Zan. Hello, I would doing you candy. Nice one for popping in. Essence of vapes, I would doing man. Thank you very much, everybody, for popping in. Um, it's just a random, random, random live. I'm just doing an unboxing. First look, have a little vape, and you should see what's happening. Nick, how we doing, fella? Doctor Vapes, how we doing? So, if you guys don't know Nick from Doctor Vapes, like he's one of one of the good buddies of mine that we we go back way 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 back you know um but now he's doing a lot of stuff he um works alongside mo at dr vapes if you've never tried them go and try their stuff out he's got a facebook group i believe uh he's got websites and all that just hit him up and yeah if you know you know if you don't know you need to get to know because that stuff and the pink series and all that and all the gold series stuff, really good quality juices, UK made. Like, he's won awards in Bahrain. Like, he's won awards all out in the Far East. Like, he's doing really well with that. Um, I can I can actually remember when I first met Mo. It was just in a local vape shop, literally three miles up from where I, from where I live. He lives, like, probably about seven or eight miles away from me. And we actually went together like competition against each other in a cloud competition so the first round he won the second round no the first round was a draw the second round 
I any I lost, but I drawn on him on one round, and then he took it and whatever. But yeah, that's how I first ever met Mo from um, Doctor Vapes. But yeah, he's a good lad. Really, he's got time for everyone. He, like you know, he's just a real good geezer. Same as Nick. Like real good people to know. You know. So yeah. So oh, where was I? Yeah, getting back to the shit. So it tells you what's in there. One kit, two Geek Vape P series coils, one. One coil tool, a drip tip. Ah, oh, the stupid spanner thing. Yeah, fucking waste of money. But anyway, uh, a drip tip, a USB cable type C, and some spare parts in a pack. You got your no nicotine. Uh, the, this nicotine, no nicotine. It should not have that on there because there is no nicotine. But, you know, this contains nicotine bollocks. Um, decent packaging, as always, with their stuff. It's quite clean, you know. They have put a little bit of colour on there now. Gone a little bit green on there. Like you see on my green screen. But yeah. Um, same old stuff with theirs. Quite clean. You know with the orange and the black that they do. Uh, first time I've opened one of them. And their boxes haven't been sealed. Normally they seal them with the void things. But anyway that's neither here nor there. Decent box actually as it goes. Ooh. Here we go. Now that. Is quite a nice looking device. It's slightly girthy, I think. Um, or is it? I don't know. Maybe the same. Might be just that this one's old, old and battered. The airflow is definitely different. You can tell the difference on the airflow straight away. Screens are obviously different. This one does look bigger, but I don't think it is that much bigger. I think it's just an optical illusion. Size of that fucking drip tip on there. Come on, man. Swaggins, how are we doing? Mike, how are we doing, dude? Um, that is fucking ginormous. Oh, it's going to be a proprietary one just for their shit, isn't it? Don't tell. Oh, of course it is. So they've changed the fucking drip tip, obviously, from pod to pod. Fucking hell. But, so, does this... No. Oh. Okay, that's all right. The, the plus fits on there. But I was told that this doesn't fit on there. Oh, no, it does. I was going to say if it does. So they, they're, they're cross-compatible. Um, does look nice. I do like it with the orange stitching and, you know, the rubberized blacked out. I love it. The only trouble is with black, as you lot know, like, it just fucking wears off. And it makes the mods look so ugly. If they could, like, anodize that black, like they do with the silver, like they do with the aura, aura glow, like they do with the red and the blue, they anodize them colors. I don't know why they're not anodizing the black. After all this time, they should be anodizing the black. I just don't get why they're not. So that's the mod. First impressions looks quite nice. You know, it's nice to have a new mod, isn't it? One thing that I did find with this was the battery cover has just started to, like, you know, wear very thin on the threads. Uh, if you can hear my wife, she's calling the little one. But, you know, I do apologise. So, we have got the manual. 51 million different languages, I suppose. Yeah, of course it is. And we only need, what, the first two or three pages. Too small to read anything, but it's going to be straightforward as anything this is the two mil version as well so i am gonna have to debunk it at some point which i do all the time anyway uh what have we got here so yeah conformity card mm, nice little card warning card so what i am going to do i'm just going to quickly show you the colors so these are the colors that we can get in this um so you can get the stainless steel space gray space black or is that gunmetal so it might be gray gunmetal black um red blue and aura glow oh and i don't know why that's gone like that i do apologize that is a bit my oh my god look live editing see this Oh, that's why, because it's the wrong bloody coil. What a knob end. Let me see if I can get the other coils up. What a prat. 
See, didn't even think that through. No, I haven't got the coil. So they do the new P-series coil. I'm going to try and show the difference between them. Because um, I've got the coils here with me. Let me just get rid of that because I am shit. Yes, I'm going to remove that. There we go. So they're the colours that they do come in. Um, nice colours, to be fair. You know, I like the... the they're quite neat and they only color a certain bit of it but like i said they should really be anodizing the black so now let's switch back to my camera view so bro what's going on uh if i do miss you out in chat i do um apologize uh can you get Aegis skins for it? I don't know. That would be a good thing to, to know, you know, if I could just get a little... Do you know what? See, I've tried to take one of these bef apart before on the, the the boost. Not the pro, the, the first boost. And they're just all glued together and all the, the, the plasticky, rubbery bit is all glued on. So you can't even take it off to spray it. I mean, so what I could potentially do really is either... Sand it all down, get rid of it, and make it shine because that will polish up because it's um, aluminium. Or I could take my time and mask it all out, spray it, then lacquer it. Do I really want to do that? For the sake of what I paid for this, not really. I've just moved to a different mod. So, as always, they pack things in the box like fucking crazy. Oh my god, how the... My, let's see, there's two ends of this box. Okay, that's that. That's that. Oh, oh your little bag of rice down there. Uh, your absorbent shit. So, USB cable, flat USB, uh, USB cable. Let me move that off the screen now so I can see what's going on still. Yeah, mate, lockdown has got to everyone, I think. It's been a long time. A long time. Uh, flat USB-C cable. Don't know why they make them flat, but hey ho, it's all right. Seems decent quality. You know, it's longer than what you'd expect in a mod these days. Like, they normally come about fucking an inch long. But yeah, let's see how it fits in. Is it an up or down? It's a down, so let's see how it fits in there. Fits in there quite nice. That's another thing why I don't like to use these charging ports to charge these mods up. On the original boost, I went through probably three or four mods, the one with the built-in battery, that that ended up snapping just because they're so weak. What they should have done was put like some epoxy resin or something behind it to keep it like there solid, but they never done that. So, you know, that holds in there quite well um let's have a look at these coils so these are big bad boy coils look at them they're fucking huge let me compare that to bear with me so these are the coils that i'm using wow so these are the original boost coils the mesh coils and they fit in the boost pro as well now that is the p series uh, that, that fits in the plus, sorry. This is the Pro Series, the P-Series. Like, there's some serious airflow on that. Serious. Size difference is phenomenal. It really is. Wow. Even the bottom, like, it's twice the size of it. That is just unbelievable. Looks about six inches, yeah. Well, now, do you know what? That's probably about... That's a foot, that is. I'd say that's over a foot. That. So, let me just get out the specs of this. So, obviously, in the pack, you I told you what you get. You get the mod, you get the boost pod. Uh, two of the P-series coils, the point two and the point four. You get the coil tool, which... There's no fucking need for it. I really don't know why they're wasting money like that. They could save that money and anodize the bloody black. Anyway, uh, spare parts. Drip tip. No parts about it. Uh, and a USB-C cable. 
So I won't bother you with the dimensions. 5 to 100 watts output voltage, 3.2 to 4.25. Mm, really, I thought batteries, uh, the 18650s only went up to 4.2, but anyway. Um, output voltage, 0 0.1 to 6.5 max 7 volts okay um resistance 0.1 to 3 ohms longest output vaping time is 10 seconds and it cuts off single battery 18650 uh usb c 2 amp uh 5 volt charging a uh, 0.96 inch tft color screen pod capacity this is a 2 mil version normal pod capacity 6 mil big tank big pod should i say open pod system uh so the material is plastic silicone leather and zinc alloy hmm it's really good it is really good so now i'm gonna have a look so it's only literally it's you can easily cross thread this literally it's only two turns look oh that wasn't even two turns before it's off See, I really think... Oh, that's a few turns on. But it gets really tight against the rubber. See, I don't know. I think they should make that a little bit deeper. Because this one here... I have trouble with this. So, if, if you can listen... Hear that click? That has gone through probably about two or three of the threads that have just gone... And that's it, it's tight. So that's only holding on by half a turn now. It's quite worn out. So I do change the back. Look, they just half a turn and it popped off. Um, so I've got to be careful with that. It hasn't caused me any major issues so far. I've had it a good, a good six months, I reckon. I would say so. So now it's time to turn this on. Let's have a look. Oh, screen lights up nice. Do like that. Fits in there quite nice. I do like the idea of the little flappy thing, so you haven't got to put a coin in there or whatnot. Um, it's quite stiff still. Anyhow, that's all right. So there's no atomizer on there. What I am going to do, so I'm going to try and fake it out and see if it will vape with the other pod on. And yes, it will. Oh, I like that screen. The screen is so much better. I have got a shit focus hand. So I don't know if it is going to focus, but, oh, uh, no bad. I've got a bit of glare from other stuff there on the screens. But oh, we see it once, flipping now. Oh, and then it goes. But anyway, the screen is a lot more nicer looking than the OLED on there. Really good. So oh, feels good in the hand. I just like the uh, like they're so ergonomic. They feel really nice. They feel quite the same, to be fair. Pretty much because they are. I don't know what's different about them. The screen, hundred watts of power wire instead of oh, is this eighty watts. I don't even take them up that high. I'm vaping on seventeen point five watts. Let me just hit it with the plus pod on the pro. Obviously, it's still as vaping on that. But what I am going to do, I'm going to set up the new coil in the new pod. I reckon that is easy to pull out as well. I might do that now. If I can find a build kit. I might try and pull this out. I really want to try want, let me move some of this junk out of the way I really want to try these new coils these bigger coils they look very very airy the airflow looks like it's going to be really fucking great on there not great in a good way really because I'm after long a lot but um, also you do get the 510 adapter this fits both 
the Plus and the Pro. Um, you can get um, an RBA for it as well. <laughs> That's the other doing, Don. Oh dear, mate. Yeah, I know, way. Eh? One of them things. So this 510 does fit both the the Pro and the Plus. Um, I haven't got. It's by the printer, Jay. It probably is by the printer, the bill kit, no doubt. Um, there is an RBA section for it. I haven't got it. I don't really do RBA building as such. I've got a, a mod here that I'm going to try it with so I can ramp it up a little bit. Uh, a mod, a tank. See, that's how stupid I'm getting. So let me see how this fits on there. Obviously, there's a cutout, a groove. Fits in the groove. Forward in. Snaps down. Hmm. It fits all right, I suppose. It's not too bad. I don't know why they've left a big gap there. That could have been nice and flush down there, but that doesn't matter. It's not too much of a gap. So let's wipe this on. In fact, let me fire it with our, no atomizer. Let's see what it says when I screw it on. Okay, atomizer found. New 0.7. Less new. See, what I would like on these, Geek Vape, They've got good quality stuff. What I think they should be doing now is smart sensing technology. People are doing that now. They, they're using USB charging. They should be using smart sensing. Put the core, put the wattage at the best what's recommended for that coil that's on there. That's what they should be doing. Like, you know, they've got the technology to do that, so I don't know why they ain't. It's a bit gurgly, this one. Jay's Vape Reviews, how we're doing. It's a bit gurgly. I will have to sort that out. It's 45 watts. That's very warm. See, why am I only vaping at 17 watts now? See, it's, it's really weird. I don't know how many people are doing it now, but it's gone like a roundabout. I'm a bit hazed out just because of the vapor in the room. I'm under the stairs, you see. Harry Potter. Should be vaping on your... <laughs> yeah, I should be vaping on that, but unfortunately, I'm doing this at the moment. Do you know what? That's a good one, actually. I could do that, because I haven't done that. Uh, but I will do that. Uh, what was I going to say? Got now, stop my flow. Damn it! Can't remember. Oh well. Someone can put in chat what I was just about, like what I was on about before I read that comment. Threw me right off. It's decent. Oh yeah, roundabout. I remembered. So when people first started vaping, I've been vaping ten years. January just gone. 10 years a long time uh i never thought i'd even give up the cigarettes but um when i first started it was on these ego c4 carts you know like back in the day thin pens two pack screw on the 510 to charge it up in the usb charger and all that went through them then i went on a lava tube viva nova tank uh then i moved on from that waffling about the tank yeah um, and then from there, like, obviously I progressed, got, like, bigger mods. You know, when things came out, I did have a bit of sh uh, shiny artist at the time. When things came out, like, it was one of the things, I need to get it, I need to try it, I need to get it, I need to try it. Big clouds, chasing the clouds, chasing the flavour. Um, and then, I don't know, Nick Salt's come out. And Nick brought me some salts over from America, which was 50 milligram, and I got, like, hooked instantly. It's like a little crackhead sitting in the corner. Where's the salts at? Where's the salts at? But from that, you know, going from like back in the day from mouth to lung, progressing all the way up to mech mods. Mate, I've got a box of mechs where I used to build regular, polish them regular, look after them and, you know, drip regular. And then from that, I've like downgraded a little bit. Down it's not downgrading. It's just changing your vaping style. So now my vaping style has changed back to mouth to lung. Even this uh, RTA on here. Or RDTA. 
RTA. Whatever. This is mouth to lung, the ND. This is this is mouth to lung. I don't do anything. Okay, I do sub ohm still because they're point four and point two coils, but I'm still low power, airflow down, so I'm still mouth to lung in it. Sometimes if I do want that extra bit, I'll open up the airflow, turn the power up a little bit, and just you know give it a little bit of a lung hit. But mate, I don't know. It's just really weird. I'm not at that stage of going back to Mexico or anything at the moment. I'm just enjoying where I'm at right now. That's what I'm doing. So, yeah, like, how, how do I, how, like, how do you lot, like, how have you found it? Have, have you lot gone around and changed your vaping habits? Yeah, it is the plus, Nick. Uh, have you changed your vaping habits? No, that's the pro. This is the plus. The plus is the old battered one. This is the pro. Like, have you gone from, like, mouth to lung to, like, proper sub in building and that and then turn back around and gone back to mouth to lung smaller devices again I, th I don't know i think it's more convenient instead of going out dripping all the time carrying a big bottle of juice going through so much you know i don't go through half as much now uh the car i was back in 2009 didn't work but i also remember getting the vamo mod v3 nostalgia right there i can remember like what, what my first ever mod was the nemesis it came like it was a brass nemesis it came in three different parts so you could have the, the, the what was the small battery i can't remember now 18350 or you could have it the 18650 and then you could have the kicker plate on top so it made it a bit safe and whatnot because it had the adjustable silver contact in there oh mate it's so crazy how uh, like things change it really is um let's have a look salts and pods changed the game i'm on the billet box and the rabbit hole now here yeah. the billet box rabbit hole uh jay used to be mtl to start and then we went through full clouds roll mofos then all the posh mods running about 10 and now you're running about what 10 to 20 watts see yeah low power went from shitty pens to sub ohm and building to mtl you know always preferred mtl i don't know what it is about it i don't I, do you know when i was on mex and chucking clouds and dripping and like big fucking tanks with like liters of juice in them, obviously not liters of juice but you know what i mean big tanks back in the day like i, I couldn't see myself then i couldn't see myself going back to like mouth to lung in but obviously like i have it's just really weird i never thought i'd do that but anyway, I was going to try and get this fucking bung out of here. I don't know if I've got anything here in the mess that I've got. Oh, yeah, I have. Let's see how easy this is. Looks quite easy, to be fair. Just depends if it... Fucking mad, it's in there. So all I normally do... When you open this flap, do not pull that out. Hello, I am live streaming. I know. Oh, come on, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Popular demand. Oh, you just spoiled it. Go away. So, yeah, whatever you do, do not pull that out. That's got a little fucking wedge-shaped grommet thing that holds that in there. If you pull that out, you're going to struggle getting it back in. Pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, mate. The FV8 16 all done in 24 hours. What I normally do is get a pair of the the sharp in cotton tweezers and then just work it in there. I've never done this before. It's the first time I'm doing it on this one. Um, hopefully, it won't take me too long. But I'll just work it. Bro, come on. I'm trying to do something right, here. That's it, don't Thanks. They say, hi, Laura. So, yeah, I just normally just get that in there, twist it around a bit. As you can see, in the middle there, I don't know if you can see because my camera's shit at the moment. Like, if you can see the white bit there just coming out. So, I normally get that so it pops out. Like so. Move it out like that. I would normally have a pair of long, long nose pliers to pull that bit out. So obviously, 
you know, they don't want us to be doing this. So then now I've changed it and put it in the coil hole. As you can see, you can see that in there now. It's all like off sticking out. Like we should be able to hook that. And pull it out. I really do need some long nose pliers. Wonder if I can get. Let's have a look. I'm going to do this. One thing that I do do. Three hours later. Yeah. The hit on the head. Not today. So I've got that bit. Out. They normally like the best way to like debung the pods is run a tank's worth of juice through there because it makes it all slippery inside because of the VG and that uh, makes it a lot heat easier. But I'm doing this from dry. So just pick it out. Even if it comes out in bits and bobs. really should have got my bill kit to do this i might have to just disappear under the desk give me one second guys i'm just gonna look for a bill kit you don't want to see the crack of my ass i'm just gonna change the screen a minute i will be one sec you'll be able to hear me banging around <laughs> Right, couldn't find the bill kit, but I have got a few other little tools. The screwdriver is always good in the arsenal. No, Matt, not in the arsehole. Never work with animals, children, or silicon tang bung bungs live. <laughs> yeah, you know. Not far off, though. too much longer before i get this out but anyway yeah um what's everybody um what's everybody vaping on tonight i know it's a standard old question that everybody gets asked it's just a bit of interaction isn't it you know someone changed my mind is there a better juice than a mango out there ah oh, there we go that's a good one
Is he doing the same thing? Has he used it though? That's the thing. It's a fucking race, is it? Bearing in mind, I haven't got no long nose pliers and I'm just using some pokey jabby things. What the fuck? What are you doing to me? Why don't? It's hard enough. I'm in a race already. Why are you shooting me? Fucking shooting me, they are. Should be illegal. Go away, I'm doing a live. Fucking hell. Nerf guns. So we have got... I will win by staying awake. <laughs> I was watching that. Good old Tony. Yeah, I've got it out to there so far. There we go. Get in there. A mod. A tank. Purple slush. Done. But -da, I finished. There we go. And I got it out in one piece, more or less. That is not too bad. Now, like I say, if you run a tank's worth of juice through that and it's all lubricated, so much easier. And if you've got long nose pliers, it's so much easier. Because when you're trying to poke it through, obviously that is just piercing it. So it has ripped it. It is in one piece, but it has ripped it as it's gone through. But like I said. Your curvy, hooky, cottony tweezers in through the old, being careful not to let this rubber come out because you'll have fucking trouble getting it back in. Put it in there, keep digging and twisting so it comes over into the coil hole. And then once it's in the coil hole, when it's wet and look like when you've had a tank to have a juice for it, get your long nose pliers in there because they do fit in there. It's a big old hole. And you just literally clamp it as hard as you can and then just give it a little twiggle and a wiggle and then it'll just pop out easy super simple i've always got a debunk so obviously this coil ain't gonna fit in there fucking hell it nearly falls in there but let's have a look at this one i need to see what this one is point two. Oh, that's a bit too high for my liking i wonder how high these are this is probably gonna be super high i ain't gonna fucking be able to vape on it there's how we're doing. Thanks for tuning in. So the point for 50 to 60. <laughs> what a knobhead. Don't look like I'm after long in this. It's 60 to 70. Looks like I'm going with the point four. But I will be able to use the mod because I will use the plus tank on the pro. I want to do the math to long thing. So, coil fits in there nice and snug. Plenty of O-rings. So, you've got two at the top. One about two-thirds down. And then one at the bottom. So there's plenty of O-rings. Big airflow on that. Obviously, keyway inside. Two flat bits for your keyway to match. So, what I normally do is put it in. Give it a little twist and a wiggle. So, it sits down. So, you don't see any of the O-rings just there. Now I am going to fill this up. Obviously it's going to be a mango. I am going to be using this Mixologist Chiller Mango Ice. Bit of a shake. It's probably about, let's say, mm, four or five milligrams of nicotine. Micrograms, milligrams, whatever you want to mig. Takes a hell of a lot of juice out. Nice. Nice big hole. <laughs> Now, one of the features that it said on this, which I'm quite intrigued, 
this ain't gonna be a full review of this. I'm just gonna set it up and just hit it. Uh, one of the features that it said on this, moist something or other, condensation free. So does that mean it's not gonna give me condensation on the bottom? Like this is plus, and as you can see there, you can see the liquid in there, uh, just there. Every day I wipe that out, maybe two or three times a day. Small price to pay. I don't mind doing it. I enjoy the vape off of it. So is that going to change with this? Maybe. I hope so. That would be a bonus if it did. So I'm going to close off the airflow. Fully on that. So it closes off the airflow totally. There's no airflow coming in through the bottom. It's all through that. No, Chandler, you're moist, mate. Don't know about this fucking drip tip. It's like the size of the fucking Mersey Tunnel. Oh, my God, it's too big. Stupid tool. Not that you need it, but, you know, goes under the coil to help you pick it out. I've never used one. To be fair, I only opened that bag because I want to try this other drip tip. And lo and behold, you fucking kidding me? It's exactly the fucking same size. Nice one, Geek Vape. Didn't want a smaller one. Didn't want the choice. Fuck's sake. Anyhow. Right, let's turn this down. I want to run this about 30. What does that do? Oh, locked it. Okay, cool. Unlock. Yes. What happens when I push them? Okay, screen brightness. Okay. So I'll run through them in a minute. I just want to hit this at 30 watts just to see how airy, not hairy. Yeah, whatever. See how much airflow. <laughs> what are you drinking? Fucking cloud. Cloudage. Unbelievable. That is full airflow. Full. Mate, that is cloudy. I haven't vaped like that in a long time. And it's only 30 watts. 30 fucking watts. That is fucking unbelievable. Maybe it's because I haven't done it in such a long time. Slow range one, hi de hi, how we doing? Right, I'm going to turn the airflow down to just under halfway, and I'm just going to drop the power just to about 21, 22 watts. See how we go. Uh, it moves in 0.5 increments. Still very airy. Still loads could probably turn that right down so it's just a fucking pinhole so i've turned it down i've got to turn the power up because it just ain't producing enough that's better that's better So what I've got the vapor equivalent to there is cloud flask. If you've ever had the cloud cloud flask, it's very equivalent. It's getting very vapey in here and I'm greyed out now. It's not just because I'm a boring fucker, but um, yeah. Please don't. I heard it load.
I can see you. <laughs> Rip it to shreds. So, if you can see, I don't know if you can, look how small that hole is. That I've got it there. It's tiny, like just there, tiny. So it's just circle. It's still giving me. I've turned the power up to twenty eight. It's, it's quite. I wouldn't say it's warm, but it's warmer than like doing a seventeen point five. Decent flavour. Decent flavour. Right, let's see if I can get into the menu. Okay. Power. So we've got TC stainless steel. TC TCR. A vape counter. Bypass mode. Power mode. Okay, so what can I do with this? Can we change the colours? don't know oh so i've got the brightness no i apple i had the brightness okay so if you hold the minus and the fire button it turns the brightness down if you hold the plus and the fire button it turns the brightness up um i'll probably have the brightness down just because i like to conserve battery power whether to change i did see different colors on the screens i don't know if each mod's got a different color where you can change it i haven't delved into it this is the first time of me looking at it you know a little bit noisy but nothing too major now let me compare it then turn the power down. That's what I've got to do because I burn the coil out. So I'm going back to the plus pod, which fits on there quite nice, nice and snug. New coil, yes. See, I like that. Off open. So this, the flavour on this is absolutely awesome. It really is. Um, it's give it decent, like earlier when I said this was quite chemically, um, I was trying that on the cloud flask and it was a little bit chemically. Whether it's because I've just changed from one mango to another mango, it just tastes slightly different. But the, the taste is really nice on this. Uh, so this is the Mixologist Chiller uh, Mango Ice. Um, the ice is just nice. It's a nice level. Um, I still think I prefer the Plus pod over the Pro pod at the moment. But it's a new device. I am going to play around with it. New coil, yes. Turn it up. Let's go and hit it. So this coil goes to what? Let me have a look. It goes up to... 60 watts. Let's crack it on at 60. I've had a few rips on it now. So, right, 60 watts. Let's open up the airflow, eh? We don't want to be burning that out. Powerful device. Seriously powerful. Is there any questions you want to ask me about it? Future Noel, sorry I didn't see you there. Thank you for dropping in. Whoa. It's making me a bit lighter than that one. Nicotine's quite high. Well, it's not quite high. Five milligrams, five megish. Gives a good hit. As you can see, look how vapey it is in here. It's making my green screen go all fucking blurry and amateurish. And... I have looked at it, Ian. Um, nasty, sorry. 
Um, yes. So it's about Vikings. And it's something to do with the afterlife or something, the realms or something like that. I didn't look too much into it. But yeah, it does sound interesting. I am going to have a further look into it. I have been testing other games at the moment that I can't say too much about just because of... um. The NDAs that I've been like signing when I've been testing these games, I don't know how I got into it, but I've started testing a few games um, for a um, couple of game companies for games that are going to be released. Some of them not good, some of them pretty good. Don't forget, um, if you have liked, um, if you have liked the live, smash that like button for me on the way out. Uh, I'm not going to hold it too much longer now. I've been rambling on and I'll just ramble and ramble and ramble and ramble. You know what I'm like. Uh, didn't go too bad. Got into the swing of things. First live on my channel for a long time. Probably a year or so. Maybe more. You know, I was a little bit nervous in the beginning. Like I said, I didn't have the Savs crew to like fall on, you know. But yeah. Um, the flavor's really good on this. Flavor's absolutely phenomenal, actually. As it converted me back to sub omen. Oh, we shall see. Probably not, because I'm a tight fucker. And I filled that juice right up to the top, and it's used quite a bit out of there at the moment. And I don't like to go through too much juice. Taking my breath a bit where the the nick rush is gonna start hitting me. I think what'll be good to try is the the rba pod bit on here uh looks and feel it looks pretty much the same obviously it's USB C charging so it's fast charging but i don't really recommend charging it unless it's an emergency and you need to charge it um but yeah take your batteries out if you can put them in a what's it uh your last live was probably expo 360 cam wow this motherfucker here that's a long time ago isn't it michelle thank you very uh Ka sorry not michelle kira thank you very much i just did the purple thing uh yes welcome back thank you i do appreciate it do you even vape bro but do you even vape bro I think I could get on with this, you know, just to see how we go. I'm going to try it out. I'll probably give it a revisit probably next week or something. Let you guys know how I got on with it and see if I stuck with it or if I went back. But, yeah. Um, so, for now, that is it. My time here is up. I do appreciate each and every one of you coming in here to support me. I had more numbers than what I thought I did uh, that I would have had. Um, but yeah, it's it's amazing. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much for the support on Savs. That you know, um, don't forget we are live tomorrow on Savs. Then after us, you've got the Misfits, and then we'll probably do a bit of gaming on Twitch. Um, don't forget coming up is the charity live stream for the Misfits on the. First and second or second and third. Anyway, it's a 12-hour stream in May, I want to say. Might have it wrong, but yeah. Uh, if you haven't done so, check out um, Shy Tots as well. Um, really good uh, juices from what I've heard. I haven't actually tried them, but I will get around to trying them because I've heard that uh, Mango is amazing. So, yeah. Um First and second of May, there you go. Savs. That was like some fucked up shape, you fucking sneeze. And even not or, or should we do a mat? Bum holes and all that. But yeah. Um What more can I say? Thank you very much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. I'm Jay. Live open chill. I'm out of here for now. Till the next time. Be safe. Don't forget. Social distancing. And you know. Wear your masks and all that shit. And don't be fucking afraid to tell the fucker behind you. That's breathing down your neck. Just to stand back a little bit. Don't cause an argument. You know. Be safe. Be happy.
and you know but anyway sweet see you later oh i've done the wrong one it's that one Woo! peace out guys i do appreciate it till the next time don't forget hit the thumbs up on the way out if you haven't hit the notification bell just ring that bell just so you know when i go live i'm gonna go maybe next week live just to let you know how i'll get on with the, the device itself but till then vape on vape safe